liberation, purification, hydroxylation, oh, and oxidation. I love chemistry. <laughs> I have to take chemistry. I don't want to take chemistry. What's the matter with chemistry? We all have to take chemistry. Why would anyone take chemistry? Who would be proud to be a chemist? There are many proud chemists. Let's see what the professionals have to say. Jim, let me ask you a question. When you came into anatomy and physiology, did you think that chemistry would be important in this course? really didn't realize uh, how essential it was going to be in human physiology and particularly in the skeletal system, how it acts as a buffer for pH and stores essential minerals to be used throughout the body. And I am a proud chemist. I'm a microbiologist and I'm here to talk about chemistry and microbiology. They've gone hand in hand together uh, since the very beginning. Today we've got the magic bullets of antibiotics. Those magic bullets are actually chemicals. And what happens when we come up with a new antibiotic? Sure enough, after a few years, the microbes actually mutate. And we have to come up with a new antibiotic. But well, we use chemists to change the structure of the antibiotic. And sure enough, it'll work again. So we'll have second, third, fourth generation antibiotics. Chemists are all involved in doing this. So if you want to be involved in this war against man's oldest enemy, the infectious diseases, you may want to become a chemist. I'm a very proud immunochemist. Hi, I'm a registered nurse. Part of my job is to educate and administer medications to patients that help them feel better and prevent diseases. Today we're learning about food allergies as those contained in peanut butter and eggs. In my hand, I have a capsule that contains the medication depicted here on the board. It has carbons, hydrogens, oxygens, and nitrogens in its structure, otherwise known as epinephrine. If a small child under the mass of 60 pounds is suffering from a severe allergic reaction, I can administer this medication with epinephrine and help save their life. I am a proud chemist. I'm a biologist and a nationally registered emergency medical technician. I use chemistry in all of my classes because chemistry is everywhere. Specifically, I teach chemistry in my general biology class where we discuss photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the basic process by which plants take water and carbon dioxide and create their own food, which in turn we use for our food. I am a proud chemist. Let's go to the chemistry class. Welcome to chemistry. Thank you.